Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something pretty cool, I guess. Also, before I get into it, Jacob is here. Jacob, would you like to say hi? Hello. Yes, I don't think we'll hear you, but that's fine. Oh. Jacob is here. Uh, but um, I decided that next year for a little bit of a challenge for myself, I want to read the Goodreads Choice Award winners for every category. So I'm here on the Goodreads website. I have not looked at the winners yet, so we're going to be looking at them for the first time, and we're going to set my TBR. Um, before I do this, there is one category that I'm not reading, and it's the food and cookbooks one, because I don't feel like I should read that, because I'm not going to, I guess. Yeah, no, I, that, that one's just out, because I don't, I don't want it in here. But every other category is. Okay, so we're clicking see the winners. It's loading now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, did not expect some of these. Some of these I definitely probably saw coming. Some of these I definitely... Ugh! Some of these I'm not excited about because I don't want to read any of them. Um, but it could be worse. It could be worse. Okay, so the first category that is up is the fiction category, and for that one, Still Me by Jojo Moyes won, and I'll be putting a picture of all of these books. This was the winner with 55,300 votes. Are you kidding me? And in second place was An American Marriage, which I've actually wanted to read because it sounds really interesting. Um... But this is, I think it is the third, yeah, it's the third novel in the Me Before You series. So I did decide with the help of Jake over here Hello. that if a book in a series has won, in order for me to count the challenges completed, that I have to read all of the books in the series, not just like the first book. So for this, in order to count the fiction one as read, or as one, one during the challenge or whatever, I guess, I would have to read Me Before You and then the second one and then um, Still Me as well, which I guess I'll have fun with that. I really am not interested in reading these books at all. Like, I, I don't care. I didn't even care to see the movie. None of it sounds interesting or intriguing to me. So that should be a fun time. We're gonna move on. The next category is mystery and thriller. And I've already forgot what the winner was. Oh yes, oh no, this one I'm not excited about at all either. So the winner for mystery thriller was The Outsider, put it right here, by Stephen King, which I believe follows a very, very like brutal murder of a young child by like a man who was like, it's like a very small town and this man comes in and he like murders this child and I guess like everyone knows he did it or something like that I don't know but the reason I don't want to read this one is because I don't like to read about murdered children well that's I guess I'm lying like I'll read about a murdered child that sounds awful to say but I don't want to read about exactly how it happens and I've heard that this novel describes like in detail what happens and that's just, I'm going to have to really get over that if I'm going to enjoy this novel. Um, I really was hoping that The Wife Between Us would win because I'm currently reading An Anonymous Girl by the same two authors. And I really want to read that next year. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm reading a Stephen King. This will be my first Stephen King book. Interesting. So moving on to the next category though, we have historical fiction which is the winner was the great alone by Kristen Hanna um so this says this family drama set in the wilderness of Alaska in 1974 captured readers hearts with with its portrayal of crisis and survival amid an unforgiving landscape um I've heard a little bit about of this and historical fiction is generally not my favorite genre um but I, I'm pretty excited. I feel like it could be really interesting. And I know that Kristen Hanna is supposed to be a really good author. And people love her work. So 
Okay, the next category is fantasy. See what the winner was, and hopefully it's one that's like not too long and not like deep in a series. Oh, good. Okay, so it's Cer Cersei, Cersei by Madame Madeline Miller. Um, and I've been interested in reading A Song of Achilles by her, so I, I guess I'll check this one out first. This one is not part of a series or anything, so I'm really excited that this is the winner. The next category was the best of the best, and I'm kind of surprised by this one, um, but then again not. So this one is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which came out last year in 2017. Um, I was honestly expecting either Sarah J Mass or um, John Green to win just because of the kinds of people who are voting in these, but actually Sarah J Mass came in third with A Court of Mist and Fury, which I'm very happy that one did not win because yikes, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read The Hate You Give. It's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be really powerful, so we'll see. The next category is Best Romance, and the winner was The Kiss Quotient by Helen. Is it Wong? Is that how you say her last name? I'm not sure. Um, but everyone says that this one is really good too. Oh, good, because second place was All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. So yikes, glad that one did not win. Um, but I'm excited to check this one out too. Everyone, again, everyone says it's good. Next is Science Fiction and Not Shockingly Vengeful by V.E. Schwab one. Um, so this one I'd have to read Vicious and Vengeful. I was really hoping that either the Pierce Brown one or Only Human by Sylvain Neville would win, but it's cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm gonna read that one too. Why did I agree to do this, this challenge? This is crazy. Okay, so the next is Best Horror, Horror, Horror? Best Horror Novel? Um, and once again, it's a Stephen King, so it's Elevation. Um, I don't know what this one is about, but I... Do you know that people did not like it? Eerie tale about a small town with big troubles. Beat back. Oh, sorry. So it's an eerie tale of small town with big troubles. I guess. This one I don't think is that thick though. <laughs> um, all right, next category is humor. And this one was The Last Black Uniform by Tiffany Haddish. Um, who I'm not really that familiar with like her work, but I know that she's supposed to be really funny, so we'll see if I think her book's funny. Next category is nonfiction, so we will see the winners for that one. Um, this one, winners, just one winner, not plural. This one is I'll Be Gone in the Dark, One Woman's Obsessive Search for the Golden State Killer. Oh, this is the one where like she published it and then they caught him right after, right? Oh. I think that's what happened. Yeah, they like caught him like right either after or right before this was published. So I'm definitely excited to read this one. Um, I like true crime. I just finished In Cold Blood last month and I hated it. But I feel like I'll like this one better. And the next category is for memoir and autobiography. Um, and the winner for this one was Educated by Tara Westover. And... Yeah, so I also have heard of this one, and I think this one's supposed to be good. So, Educated is about um, this woman who, well, like, she's a woman now, but when she was a child, her family became, like, a cultist and, like, super into, like, the apocalypse is happening, like, we have to survive. So, like, her, like, dad and mom, like, right, moved her entire family to, like, some, like, survival wilderness in, I think, yeah, this says Idaho. But then she eventually, like, leaves and get out, and I think she got her, like, PhD from like Oxford or something. I'm honestly a little surprised this one won. I was definitely expecting the Michelle Obama to one becoming by Michelle Obama to win. Um, and that one was in second too, um, by a landslide. Educated had just about 58,000 votes. Michelle Obama had about 55,000 votes, but then in third place was Sally Field's memoir called In Pieces, but that one only had 20,000 votes. So a huge gap between second and third. The next category is for history and biography and this one is The Good Neighbor, The Life and Work of Fred Rogers, who I never saw Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Is that even what the show is called? Never have seen it or watched it. Um, so I guess this will give me some insight into that. We'll see. 
The next category is science and technology. This one, the winner was The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs, A New History of the Lost World. And this one I'm actually pretty excited about because I'm, I like dinosaurs. I think they're cool. So, um, we'll see how I feel about it in the future if I actually read it. <laughs> okay, the next category was food and cookbooks. Like I said, um, I'm not reading this one, but this one was Cravings Hungry for More by Chrissy Teigen and Aidna Suzman. I think that's how you... Adina Suzman? Adina? I think it's Adina. Um, but like I said, I'm not reading that. Next category is Best Graphic Novel and Comic, and this winner was Herding Cats by Sarah Anderson, and this says that this is her third consecutive year as the Goodreads Choice Award winner. Oh, and it's part of a series. Great, I'm already not that into graphic novels, so we'll see. Next is Poetry, which I actually don't like poetry, so... But the winner was The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one by Amanda Lovelace, who had, what is that called? The Princess Saves Herself in this one. Um, this I do know that they're like super quick and easy, so this one should be no problem to read. Um, but we'll, I, I don't like poetry, like I don't like it, so we'll see how I feel about it. The next category is one that I'm actually pretty excited about, and it's Best Debut Author. And the winner was Children of Blood and Bone by... How do you say that author's name? I'm gonna feel like such an awful person. Persis? Awful person. Tom Tomini Adini. I am the worst. But yeah, this one is a YA fantasy um that I, I wasn't that interested in reading, but um I was like mildly interested in it. Um but we'll see how I feel about it. Okay, this one I'm not excited about at all, actually. So the next category is Best Young Adult Fiction, and the winner was Leah on the Offbeat, which I actually read Simon vs. the Hope of Samian's Agenda, like, a while ago, and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, but I didn't need more of any of those characters' stories. I liked the way that all of them wrapped up, and I've heard that this one is, like, I don't want to say, like, fan service, but, like, that's the only word that's, like, coming to mind. So we'll see. The next category is Best Young Adult Fantasy and Science Fiction, and the winner is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Maas, which uh, thankfully I'm already currently reading, so I'll have at least one of these done by the end of next year. Um, but yeah, I hate Sarah J. Maas, so. Well, okay, that's rude. I don't hate Sarah J. Maas, I hate her books. And that's, uh, that's even a lie, because I give them either them three or four stars. I have problems with Sarah J. Mass's books. That's something better to say. Okay, the next one, I'm actually, I don't know how I feel about it. So the next category is Best Middle Grade and Children's Novel, and the winner was The Birding Maze by Rick Riordan, which this one is part of his Trials of Apollo series, and I think, so this one's book three, so it's not that far into the series, but I tried to read Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, probably like four times when I was in middle school and high school and I never got past page 100. So as an adult, even, I don't even know. I don't know. I'll try the first one and if I don't like it, this one will not get read. So, sorry to disappoint. And the last category is picture books. And this one is I Am Enough by Grace Byers and the illustrator was, uh, hey, once again, I don't know how to say this author's name, I'm sorry, or illustrator's name. Katora A. Bobo? I am so sorry. Oh, this author was on Empire. Um, but this one also, it's a children's book, so it's going to be really easy, really quick. Um, and it looks like, based on the cover, it looks like it's going to be really like a cute story. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll definitely read the children's book, you know, the shortest one <laughs> on the list. I'll definitely read that one. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. Hopefully I can like complete this challenge or at least do well on this challenge for next year. I'm really trying to like diversify my reading next year and read things that are like out of my comfort zone and also push me to read more, um, which is probably not the best because I know for the first half of the year I'm gonna be super busy with like school and stuff. But you know, what's life without challenges? I'm I'm also going to be doing the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge. 
So hopefully I can fit some of these into those challenges and at least get some of each completed. But yeah, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the Goodreads Choice winners, if you have read any of them and if you think they deserve to win. Um, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.